What's up? It's Christine Horn, and this is Actors Daily Bread. You are tuned into episode 164. Today, I'm talking about marketing yourself as an actor. You got to market yourself as an actor, but you might be confused about how to do that or the right way to do it without feeling slimy and sleazy and desperate and thirsty. If that's of interest to you, stick around. Okay. I am live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I see you. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Shout out to Atlanta. Just got back from Atlanta. It was a quick trip. Shout out to Chase Paris, who I got to see while I was there. Shout out to Denitra Eisler, who I got to see. Um, and shout out to my Booking Magnet Academy members, who um, so I got to meet some of you in person, which was wonderful. Every time I go to a city, the next city I'm coming to next week is Portland, Oregon. So if I, got, if I have any Portland, Oregon folks who are Hollywood-bound actors, let me know. Send me a DM, send me a message, because I'm coming there next weekend. Um, but today, I want to talk about marketing yourself as an actor. And hey, Wendy. Um, hey, Arisha. Hey, Gina. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this, and um, because this is always a big question. This is something that I teach a lot of. Anybody who's worked with me knows. But I'm a really big advocate. So if you've been seeing a video of mine going around, I'm always talking about getting to know your mama. <laughs> That's my whole methodology. Get to know your mama. Get to know your mama. That's mindset, acting, marketing, and auditioning. Those four things, those four steps are what make a full career and what has certainly um, helped my career grow and helped me become a booking magnet. Uh, she says she's coming to South Carolina. We'll see. We'll see what brings me there. I'll never know. <laughs> So, you know, today um, I want to talk about marketing because I know that's a big thing for a lot of you. Some of you don't feel comfortable doing it. You feel like, oh, I don't want to be braggadocious. I don't want to be slimy. I don't want to be thirsty. And I just want to just give you a little inside scoop on how I teach my clients and how I market myself because I don't teach my clients anything that I don't do for myself. Any of my clients, give me an amen if you if you know that to be true. So I went to my PO box today. So something that I have my inner circle member clients do, um, my inner circle, just so you know, I'm about to open the door soon to my next round. If you want to find a way to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, hand holding for six months, shoot me a DM or leave a message saying I'm interested and give me your email address and I can tell you more. But it's an intense program. And um what I have my inner circle members do is to send the same marketing, whatever they're sending to their casting directors that they're targeting. Come on, Facebook. I see some of y'all watching, but you ain't giving me a like or a thumbs up or even saying hello. Just calling y'all out. Instagram is blowing up. Thank you, Instagram. Um, <laughs> uh, Facebook acting like they ain't here. Um, but what I have them doing is sending me their love notes as well. So I, they're, I call them love notes. So let me start there. So I like to alleviate the whole feeling of, there they go. There was a Facebook delay. Thank you. I see you, Neil. I see you, Jasmine. I see you, Sheena, <laughs> Deanne. There's a feeling of being thirsty, desperate, all that stuff. And what I want to express is when what the stuff that I teach, I believe that we should spread love. That's what I believe. If I spread love, that means if I pass on love and good energy to you, it will never come off as thirsty or desperate, right? Because I'm gonna, I want to make sure I put a smile on your face. So when the way I teach marketing is how can I put a smile on this casting director's face or this, or this producer's face? What can I do to cheer them up? The problem where you, some of you go wrong with marketing, why you don't want to do it or why you have resistance to it is because you think, oh, they're going to think I'm desperate. And that's because you're coming at it from a place of what's in it for you. We all as humans are tuned into WIFM, what's in it for me. So when you are approaching casting producers or anybody, you're trying to build a relationship, you got to think what's in it for them. Why should they even open my mail? Right? So that is the way that I approach it. So we call it marketing, but I usually call it spreading love. And so our monthly marketing for my community, the students who work with me, we call them love notes. Now you can call it whatever you want, but there's something energetically just beautiful about saying, I'm sending you some love. I'm sending you a love note this month. It's not creepy or like, you know, sexual. It's just love. God, we, the world needs more of it. So I wanted to pop on to show you four real life examples because I went to my PO box and I have some star students 
And I want to show, shout them out, number one, and also show you some examples. Because some of you are like, well, I don't know how to market myself. What do I send? And so this can be anything, not a headshot. This is Take this tip away. I, and I have to rush because I have a client in like 13 minutes. <laughs> Y'all know I can go long. The, if you want a biggest tip, this is your big takeaway today, especially if you're new to me. What you never send is a headshot. Can we just be clear on that? Can we touch and agree that you should never, ever, 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 ever send a headshot as a way to market yourself? Okay? Let's just get that out. Not your headshot by itself. Not your, not your little, uh, do I have one in here? I just had another. I'm never sending this in an envelope and being like, please call me in for future projects. Never. So if that's what your strategy has been, toss it out the window and thank me later, okay? And save your money, save your money, save your coins. <laughs> save your coins. And if you like this training, trust me, again, I'm rushing today. Uh, Jasmine says, touch and agree. Hi, Roxanne, thank you so much. Hey, Elisa. Um, <laughs> Dominique, thank you so much. I try to be positive. But seriously, all jokes aside, that should be that should not be on your uh, to-do list. Wasting your money, sending your headshots because they just go like this. They be like, "Oh, another headshot." And look, your coins are too precious to be to be sending them through the mail. So let's show you some examples. So my my inner circle members, my my VIP clients, have been working with me, and so I'm just gonna show. I'm, I just went to the PO box today. So they're going to be like, oh, my God, Christine's calling me out. But I'm calling you out in a good way, all of you. <laughs> hey, Risha. Um, Wendy, you need my DM? Um, yes, I will do that. Um, and if you have IMDb Pro, if you want it ASAP, my address is on there. My PO box is on there. But just give me a minute, and I'll do it. Ooh, who think? So first person I'm shouting out is, I'm going to show you Instagram in a second, is Farrah Lopez. Can you see this? Farrah Lopez, shout out here for you, Instagram. Farrah Lopez. This is, it's like a five by seven. And it's like the texture is just, it feels like a picture, right? It does, it's not like on Vista print cardboard stock. So this is something I do with my clients. And this is five things you didn't know about Farrah Lopez. Okay. And I love this. I love this because this gives you an excuse. So some of you say, I have nothing to showcase. I haven't booked anything in a while. Right. I love this strategy, and this is one of my next level strategies, and I brainstorm on this with all of my clients all the time, is what are five things we don't know about you? Now listen, casting people, they don't know you at all, so there's all gonna be gravy. But you wanna be strategic in the five things because they should speak to who you are as a human being. I just uh, was live earlier today on Instagram, and my, if you watch my story, I left my agent and we were talk I was sharing how your agent or your team should know you as a person, as a well-rounded individual. So I'll read Farah's. Um, I'm obsessed with boxing from the MTA to Tinder dates. There are plenty of reasons to want to punch something in New York City. Boxing has become my favorite stress relievers. I love it so much. I bought a bag for my apartment, so now it's on. Catch me this fall on the sci-fi series Demon Doctor as I play a vengeful Spirit killing cheating lovers should be fun. Stay tuned for my updates. And I always say that you should have your website or some way to contact you. And she is represented, so she has her representation's information. You always want to have your rep's info and your own info. Let's say your rep is being shady, not picking up the phone or returning emails. Or if you switch rep and they get this later, at least they have a way to contact you. What this is showing, you notice she talked about boxing. And yeah, it's personal, but that also is a special skill. You see that? So that could be something we book her on. Wow, remember that girl, Farrah Lopez? And so what she's also setting up in the five things is that she's now she's telling you to expect more of these because we're going to do a countdown. Dominique says it looks very professional. Uh, yes, of course, because she's working with me. Dominique, come on now. We don't send out nothing that's half-ass. Excuse me, kids. Okay, so shout out to Farrah Lopez. So that came in the mail today. Farrah, star student, good job. Um, I'm the next person I'm shouting out is Sheena Faust. Sheena Faust has been one of my longtime clients. You can hear on Instagram. She just, she's been working with me for about a year and we've been working together on her releasing content and she just released 
her new web series. I think it will be it will be it will premiere this week. It is called Why Am I Still Single? So for this love note, she's showcasing this is the flyer for the show. And here she goes here. There's her beautiful face. And on the back. Now, mind you, I always tell her write a personal note. All of you, don't just send a random mass mailing. How is this personal to me? Remember, we're tuned into WIIFM. What's in it for me? She writes, Christine, finally, it's here. Thanks for the continual push. The best is yet to come. Sheena. A thank you goes a long way, right? So shout out to Sheena and congrats. Y'all check her out on Instagram and look for her new show, Why Am I Still Single? It airs this week. Congratulations. This is the stuff that we're doing in the inner circle. If you want to work with me for six months, high intensity, and anybody in it can make a comment because it is high intensity. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I am high intense, but that's what you pay me for. We get work done. Okay. Next person I'm shouting out. Um, I'm looking at these comments. Next person I'm shouting out is Dawn Bino. Shout out to Dawn Bino in Atlanta. So again, love notes. And how do we send love notes? We send them in regular envelopes. Or Farah, since hers was big, she sent it in one of these, right? Because we're never sending an 8 by 10 in a big old manila envelope that they know it's a headshot. We want to send it in stuff where, let me cover her address, send it in stuff that you don't know what it is. So they got to open it. That's the key. Get your envelope opened. So thank you. Shout out to Sheena Foss. Shout out to Farrah Lopez. You can find them all on social, Instagram and Facebook. Amazing actresses. So Dawn Bino is up next, also from lives in Atlanta. So she got creative, right? She opened this up and I'll read what it says. It says five amazing fun facts about Dawn Bino. Now it's the same strategy Farrah used, but she put five amazing fun facts. She says, I loved number four, which means she already sent one and there's more to come. Love it, Dawn. I love to cook and sometimes cater small parties and make specialty cakes. She has her IG, her YouTube show that we've been working on. Congrats, Dawn. You stepped. Look, I know creating your own content is like hella stressful and scary and who's going to watch it, who's going to care. But I want to give you a public shout out, Dawn, for launching your YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel is It Just Dawned On Me. She's an amazing singer and vocal coach. So all of you actors, we all need to work on our breathing and our technique. Even if you're not a singer, some of y'all go in auditions and run out of breath when you're talking because you're so nervous and you're talking up here. Dawn Bino can help you with that. Um, seriously, I, I'm not, you know, I get no commission off this, y'all. I'm just telling you, she knows what she's talking about. So her YouTube is, it just dawned to me. She has her Twitter and then she has her representations info. So there you go, Instagram right? But wait, peep this. She didn't stop there. So she told us she loves to cook. And what did she do? Bam. She has an index card with a recipe on it for her pound cake. Dawn, let's talk about this pound cake recipe though. Handwritten. You see that? Handwritten. Two, three sticks of butter, six eggs. And then in the back, she goes on to explain more details about it. What to expect. Signed, enjoy. Dawn, come on, Dawn, by now. That's what I'm talking about. So y'all, can I get some comments, Instagram and Facebook, please, especially for when they come back and watch this later. Has anything you saw, seen just now, made you feel like these actors are desperate? Oh my God, how dare they send a recipe? How dare they? Come, give me, give me your immediate feelings that are coming up when you see these. What are you thinking? Give me some, give me, what are your thoughts on what you've seen so far? I have one more to share with you. Come on, come on, come on with the comments. What are you feeling? So if you got this in the mail, five things you didn't know, plus a little recipe card, and she's sending you these once a month, letting you get to know her, what are you feeling? Deanne says, those are really great ideas. Marilee says, very genuine reach outs. Wendy says, I'm blown away. Um, hey, Denise, yeah. Uh, Tamika, Tamika says, creative. Right? Roxanne says, great. See, none of this is like, hey, can you please book me on your next show? Can you please call me in for that audition? I would love to read for your office. You, you see, none, nobody has said this yet. I'm going to show you one more that's really going to knock your socks off. And this is the stuff I do with my clients. Because some of y'all feel stuck like, man, I haven't booked anything. Again, another client who sent it in a regular envelope, because that's what we do to get our mail opened, right? If you take nothing else. Marilee says attention grabbing, right? Um, 
<laughs> Jasmine said, the love note I gave today, I'd like to take it back and try again. Don't feel like that. Whatever you get, whatever you did was in the spirit of your love in that moment, Jasmine. This is something we do every month, guys. Marketing is not an event. Marketing is, a, is an ongoing thing. The reason why some of you will stand out more than others is because some of you will be like, go hard in the paint for three months and then stop and don't do it again. Those of you who are consistent, whether it's fancy or not, whether it's just a thank you card or some flowers or some edible arrangements or a Starbucks card, you will stand out because you were consistent. Put it on your calendar. If it doesn't take up real estate in your calendar, it's not going to happen. Okay. Oh, I got eight minutes before my next client. Okay, here we go. This next one, okay, we just saw came in a regular envelope and I'm unwrapping it. It was like this. Has a little card that fell out. Oh, what does the card say? It says, we become happier, much happier, when we realize that life is an opportunity rather than op and an obligation. Mary Augustine. Another quote in the back that says, what is done in love is done well. Vincent Van Gogh. This is from my star student, Kim Burns. Dominique says, who are they sending their information to again? Dominique, they're sending it to people who we call their targets, people who you want to work with, casting directors, producers, writers, directors. You're doing the research, what show do you want to be on? Who's casting it? Fine, do that research. Reach out to them. And if you need more help with that, you may want to join my Booking Magnet Academy. That's my starter level. The inner circles goes pretty deep. Click the link in my bio on Instagram and you can join my, inner, my Booking Magnet Academy. It's only $27 a month and I teach this. You will not find a better training resource than the Booking Magnet Academy. And I say that with full confidence. <laughs> I say with full confidence. So check that out. That's where they're learning this. My inner circle clients are, uh, are working at a more intense level with me for six months. So we saw that she had the quote. Shout out to Kim Burns. Okay. Right. Now let's open it up. This is what she has here. I'll show you Instagram in just one second. There's a sticky note here, a handwritten note, because what this means is she probably printed a bunch of these but she made them individualized, which is what I teach, to make it personal to whoever you're writing to, right? So people want to feel special. If you dating somebody and, you know, they line you and the five, your five, the five other people up that they're dating and give you all the same bouquet of flowers, you'd be like, I want these flowers. You gave these flowers to everybody. You don't feel special. People want to feel special. So even if you're mass printing something, so this is Kim's. She has her name and it says getting to know Kim Burns. Getting to know Kim Burns. I'm trying to tilt it forward. She says um, she has that, she's sag after. She has a picture of her podcast cover. And she says she's co-host of the podcast Kim and Ket Stay Alive. Maybe a horror movie pod a horror movie comedy podcast with a twist. K and K movie coming soon. And then she has that she's wonderfully represented by her team. She has her team information here. And then as instructed, she has her own websites here. Got to have your own contact here, but she has her agency stuff here. Now, mind you, she mass printed this and she's using a, the same photo. You want to use similar photos. Y'all, this is a golden episode, just so you know. I, you, you usually have to pay me to even get this information. So I hope you are really relishing in the diamonds being dropped. <laughs> I'm so serious. And if you like it, come work with me and your mind will be blown. So she has a note that says, hi, Christine, happy June love note. Thank you so much for all that you give. You are a beautiful talent and endless powerhouse. Thank you for the inspiration. Hashtag booking magnets. Love Kim Burns. Okay. As you can see, again, thoughts, comments, not one of these love notes or marketing materials was on a, was a thirst track. Not one of them was like, please book me. I'm so desperate. I need a gig. Not one. Each one spoke to me personally. There's a good energy here with this, with these quotes. I just feel good energy when I get this. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very much an energetic person. And, re and the reality is we all are, whether we put a name on, to it or not. Dominique says, yes, these are some great gems. I'm glad you en are enjoying it. I'm just checking the comments on Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. 
Neil says this is right on time. I'm glad. Listen, marketing cannot, I have three minutes. And Zynga, I'm coming, girl. <laughs> marketing cannot be an event. It cannot. And as you will find out in my new book, ah, August 1st is coming out, y'all. Get ready. It's called Playing Small. Ignore this line. That's from my proof. The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet will be out August 1st. The reason why a lot of y'all don't do marketing outside of not knowing what to do is because you're scared. You're scared of what people are going to say, what people are going to think, and you're letting that stop you. You're playing small, and it needs to stop today. Decide now. Declare now that you will let the world know that you exist. And if you saw these shout out to Farah, Kim, Dawn, and Sheena. Because they are prime examples of how you can promote yourself with love. Let people know you exist. Send good energy through the mail. They'll be excited to meet you. When they finally meet you, be like, you know what? I get your love. I, they're not going to know their love notes. They're going to, I get your, they're going to say, I get your postcards or I get your stuff. But there's a good energy behind it. And there are a lot of actors who are reaching out in a, thirsty, desperate way that is just, it's why casting directors say, oh, please, no postcards, guys, please. Just save your money. I, it's a waste. That's where they're coming from. But had they been inundated with love, love, love coming in their inbox, coming in their PO box, coming in their, you know, in their email, their Twitter, and their Instagram, they would not feel that way. But they just get so tired of the crap. <laughs> they just get tired of it. All right, guys, I got to go. I got to go coach a client. If you've enjoyed this episode, A, don't be stingy. Please give me a heart, a like, a something. It helps the Facebook algorithm and the Instagram algorithm. And if you know of an actor who could use this, share with them. You know, don't be stingy. And last but not least, listen, I'm teaching this kind of stuff August 24th. Saturday, August 24th at the Bronze Lens Film Festival in Atlanta, Georgia for their 10 year anniversary. I'm so stoked. And just for my audience, for my Hollywood Bound Actor community, they've given me a special discount code that's valid until the end of this month, well, to August 1st. So I put the link here um, on Facebook, hollywoodboundactors.com slash events. Bye, Dominique. Bye, Wendy. <laughs> hollywoodboundactors.com slash events. It has all the info plus the discount code for my community. It's from 10 to 6. I'm teaching you all day. I'm teaching you all about your mama, mindset, acting, marketing, and auditioning. That's what I'm teaching you. So come see me in Atlanta and let's rock it out. Stop mailing your freaking headshots, save your coins, and let's start doing it right. I got to go because Nzinga's like, where's Christine? I got to go coach somebody. <laughs> And if you just want to know what it looks like to work with me, shoot me a DM Instagram and I'll make that clear for you how you can work with me and get to your next level. Good night, everybody. Bye.